McCollum will set up once again for second and 10. He'll once again look towards the left. Scrambles to the right. Has multiple receivers trying to get open as it's picked off. Fratman picking off and it is Jalen Butcher trying to go all the way to the house. Has a block to center field. Around the 40, still going. One man to beat. 20, 15, jokes the one man. Tacklers coming back, touchdown Fratman. And it's a pick six of more than 110 yards. Second and 10 as Garrard will look left to the sideline. Caught. Carter tries to stretch the end zone, but pushed out. It's a touchdown. Touchdown, Lancer. And the Lancers will take the lead, pending the extra point. Allen continues to try and help move this offense forward. Second and seven at the 53. Once again, keep an eye on Brayden McCraney for today. Allen looks to his left. Throws it quickly, gets it out of the pocket. Going to be brought from the left side to the right side of the field. Trying to get some blocks. Gets one block. Tries to shuffle through two defenders as he's brought down at the 25. Dante Lewis able to make that catch after the quick read from Colton Allen. The fans continue to file on in as it's time for a cool night of football live from Windsor, Ontario from Alumni Field at the University of Windsor campus. Tonight, it's the London Beefeaters and the Windsor AKO Fratman in the OUFC Game of the Week. I'm Justin Prince, alongside me is the Dequans for what should be a very intense matchup. Both of these teams, two and one, both of them fighting to try and get to second in the standings. Absolutely, Justin, and the key here is going to be which team is going to keep their composure, which team is going to stay within their game plan the longest, and which team's going to actually possess the ball and not turn it over. And we're just about one minute into the second quarter as the Fratmen will take possession of the ball once again. For those that are just tuning in, the Fratmen have been for the past few weeks going with a quarterback rotation of sorts, Col starting Colton Allen along with straight out of high school, Daniel Mayu, as they're going to go with Mayu this time by at behind center for this drive. Sets up for first and 10 at the 10 yard line. Mayu hands it off. Nash Pryor dodges to the left. Still trying to break through as he's brought down at about the 30, make of the 26 yard line. And now for a first down. Great, uh, great job on a little inside run there by Nash and uh, Boom, he just gets up the middle of the field and, and, and gains yards. And that's going to be, again, first and 10, officially rolled at the 25 as the knee was down at the 25 line, 25 yard line, rather. As Mayu was set up with Breyer again in the backfield. Three receivers to the right, two to the left once again. Mayu to Breyer. Dodges off one tackler, breaks through two, spins around and is brought down at the 32 for a gain of about five. You know, the one, the one thing I notice is, is, you know, for, for week three, um, just tackling. Tackling is very sloppy. Um, again, you know, two guys had him, should have had him in the backfield and, and just couldn't finish the play. And, uh, you know, three weeks in the season, the tackling should be much better. You here, right here, you see 67, misses him, doesn't bring his feet. Another young man has a chance, number eight, misses him. Yeah, see the amount of time shuffling through. In terms of tackles, 47 total tackles for the Sooners coming into tonight in all of C action. Mayu throws it on this down. It's complete. Brought down by two different players at the 37 to Michael Ryan on the catch in the slot. That's a, that's a great job. Uh, Dan, uh, you know, I, I coached Dan this summer at that Ravens, and this young man has a very, very strong arm. And as you can see here, he puts this thing out here without any trouble. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a nice, again, run and catch and uh, big first down. When it comes to Mayu, one of the positives that was mentioned coming into the season by Coach LaChance, the strong arm. And you see the action there from the strong arm there. First and 10 at the 37, 11, 35. Closing on down here in the second. Mayu looks to the left. Quick bubble play to Jared Hayes Williams. He's going to be brought down at about the 35, maybe a gain of two at the most. Great, great job, uh, great job. The uh, 
the Sooners get into the football there. That was a uh, very, very solid, just again, quick screen, like wide receiver screen hitch type of situation, and they just closed on it very quickly. They'll set up for second and eight, officially at the 35. Mayo will have his men set up to the right in McCraney along with Michael Ryan once again setting up on the outside will be Omar Hayes Williams. Looks to the right. McCraney around one defender tries to move on forward as he's brought down at about the 31. They're definitely trying to get McCraney the football. And the main reason I think is you got the linebacker walked out on him. Um, just athletic ability wise, you, you have one of your best players against the linebacker that probably isn't overly fast. Um, so, you know, look for look for Craney to, to probably make a, a ton more big plays because they're just the matchup they have with him is you have to go after him. Coach Chance told Aaron Sanders and I this too, involving him more, a lot of jet sweeps, a lot of verticals to get him involved tonight. Mayu, third and four, throwing it to the end zone. It's caught! Touchdown, Frotman! Jared Hayes Williams able to shed the defender to make it 30 to nothing. Looks like he's comfortable with Allen for at least one more drive as it's first and 10. Throwing it towards the screen, but picked off. This one's gonna be a pick six for a touchdown. Derek Badley makes it now 28 to seven. First and 10 at the 48. Allen throwing deep down the sideline complete. Omar Hayes Williams still pushing his way forward, spins over towards the end zone, touchdown Frontman. Garrard will set up three slot backs in the motion. Garrard. Good pass protection. Has the pass protection, but it's picked off. Second pass picked off in three plays, and this time it's for a pick that six. Touchdown, Raven. Trevor White able to get the second interception in three attempts from Sam Garrard to make it 25 to 13.